In this video, you learn how to write chord progressions in the Lydian mode. Now, the Lydian mode is an incredibly beautiful sounding mode full of awe and wonder, and it's a favorite of film composers for that reason, but can also be found in many songs. The Lydian mode is the brightest of all the modes, even brighter than the major scale. Hi, this is Simon Candy from Acoustic Guitar Lessons online.net and in this lesson I'm going to break the Lydian mode down for you so you can easily understand it then we'll have a look at how to write chord progressions in the Lydian mode targeting the all important characteristic note that gives Lydian the sound that is Lydian funny enough that is what we're going to do then I'll run you through some progressions using the Lydian mode of course and then some actual songs for examples of the Lydian mode being used so you can see how you can use it in your own playing. For an overview of writing modal chord progressions click the link in the top right corner of this video and it will take you to another video on my channel that is an overview of writing modally or modal chord progressions rather. So you don't need to do that now. You can understand what we're going to cover in today's video so stay here with me but bookmark that one because it'll be a good one to further your understanding. Okay, let's get into it. Lydian is the fourth mode of the major scale. And we're gonna have a look at F Lydian here to explain this. If we look at F Lydian, it is the fourth mode of C major. Okay, if we count up from C, D, E, F is the fourth note. F Lydian is the mode, is a mode of C major. Okay, and what we mean by that is that F Lydian and C major have the same notes. However, they are not the same key or the same sound because the emphasis when we play an F Lydian is put on the F note that's the tonic and that changes everything versus C being the tonic when we are playing C major so same notes but different sound and I'll link to another video in the top right corner here that takes you to a, a video on my channel that gives you an overview of the modes okay and that will help further broaden your understanding so you can sort of bookmark that one too to watch after this. Lydian is a major mode. If we compare that to its relative major scale, sorry, relative, I mean it's parallel major scale. Parallel meaning the major scale that also has F as the root. That's F major of course. If we compare it, have a look at how they compare. F major, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. F Lydian, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So what is the point of difference? The B, okay? F Lydian has a B. And so if we look at it in comparison to the parallel major key, it's a major scale with a sharp four. That is what Lydian is, okay? So in this case, it's F major with a sharp four being B. And that B is the characteristic note I briefly mentioned in the introduction to this video. That is the heart of the sound of Lydian. Now to understand any key, or to better understand any key, I should say, we want to harmonize the key. We want to build chords within the key. So if we do that with F Lydian, what you find is that we get F major, we get a G minor off the second, sorry, we get a G major off the second degree, we get an A minor off the third, we get a B a half diminished off four, the five chord is C, the six chord is D minor, the seven chord E minor, and then we're back to F. You would think one note difference doesn't make that big a deal, right? Or one note doesn't really make that big a difference between two keys. Well, it, it does. <laughs> it affects it very much because it changes three of the seven chords in the key. So it almost changes half the chords, just that one note. Because if we have a look at F major harmonized, okay, you see on the screen there, you can see we have F, G minor, A minor, B flat, C, D minor, E half diminished F. Now if we raise all those notes, oh sorry, not all those notes, if we raise the B flat to B, as we do to get Lydian, it changes three of the chords. G minor now becomes G major. And the B flat four chord now becomes B half diminished in Lydian. And the seven chord becomes E minor in Lydian, not E minor seven flat five or E half diminished if you like. So it does change the landscape. They are both major sounds, but Lydian is different to major and it's actually brighter. As bright as major is, Lydian is brighter again, as we're going to hear. Okay, so a couple of chord progressions uh, as examples of progressions using the Lydian mode. So I mentioned a couple of times now about that characteristic note. That's the all important sharp four in the case of Lydian. Now, when you're writing a modal chord progression, 
you want to include chords that have that characteristic note in them. Not only, because if you only use chords with the characteristic note out of Lydian, you'd be restricted to three chords. We don't want that, but at the same token, we don't want to write a chord progression or create a chord progression that doesn't use a chord that has a B note in it. Otherwise, we could be in F major. Okay, we'd need more information if you like. That being the case, a very, very common um, Lydian sort of vamp, if you like, is simply to play a one to a two chord. Okay, one major to two major. That in, in the case of F Lydian, that would be our F. One chord to the two G. Back to the one chord F. Okay, and that's in Lydian. We can tell that's Lydian and not F major because of the G, the two chord, because it's G and it's got the B note in there. Okay, that's why we know it's Lydian, not Ionian. Ionian being the modal name for just F major. The other thing that you can do is you can bring the characteristic note in to the chord if it's not there already. The F chord, does not have a, a B note in it. So when I play that chord, it could be you know, just that chord on its own. We don't know if it's F major or F Lydian. We could assume one over the other, but we don't really know until we have more information. Now, something we could do to make it definite one way or the other is to bring in the B. So I've just, I'm playing like a bar chord here, but I'm using my thumb over the top so I can uh, then easily add the B note. So I've got this F chord, and then if I take my first finger off, it brings in the open B string, and there's the sharp four. So there's that Lydian sound, right? Hear that? We'll hear it in some songs shortly, but hear that, you know, just that bright sort of uh, wonder, awe, uh, mystical, sort of floaty sound. These are all sort of adjectives, if you like, that I've heard people use before for Lydian. And it's, it's ones that I would agree with myself that I, I think it sound, has that sort of sound about it, right? So you can bring it into the chord if it's not already there. And that makes that like an F sharp, uh, sorry, not an F sharp, an F major sharp 11 chord. If I include the top string E, it's sort of really more an F major seven, that's what the E does, with the B, which we could consider a sharp 11. Okay, so I'm gonna write a little chord progression here that uses that chord to a C, major seven, E minor seven, and the G. All right, just a little bit of a longer progression. So that's the F with that B added to C major seven. E minus seven and the G. Okay, and I'll finish on F. Okay, so the first song I want to have a look at, or the first little excerpt from a piece of music, is one that you'll know if you're a Star Wars fan, and that is Yoda's theme. So remember I mentioned about film composers. Lydian is throughout many, many films. You'll be surprised how often you hear the Lydian mode in film scores. It's just got that awe and that wonder and, you know, bright, uplifting sound, if you like. Yoda's theme, okay? It's in C Lydian. So remember we said Lydian is a major scale with a sharp four. So let's just reinforce this first. So if we're looking at C Lydian, it's going to be a C major scale with a sharp four. So the notes in C Lydian will be C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and then C the octave. If we harmonize the scale, we always get the same chords when we harmonize any Lydian scale, okay? So again, we get major chords off the two uh, the one and the two, sorry, we get C and D, and we get E minor, F sharp half diminished, three of the four chords, three then the four chord, the five chord is major, G, then six and seven, A minor, B minor, and then the octave again, C. Okay, so Yoda's theme is based on the one and two chord, the two major chords, or two of the major chords in the key. So in that case, it's C and D. 
okay? And we get the, the melody and it goes something like this. It's just gonna be a little rough version here, okay? This is no complete arrangement, but just to give you the sound of Lydian. So what's happening there is you've got this C and then it goes to D and there's that all important F sharp note, right? And it's actually a D with a C in the bass. So we're pedaling the C note throughout this as well. And that's very common to do with modal chord progressions is to pedal the tonic across the chord progression. So here we've got this C to the D with the C still in the bass, back to C. D with C again, different melody note, and C once more, and then we get D minor with a C, and then C major seven. Okay, another example also in C Lydian is a song by R.E.M. called Man on the Moon, and it's more the verse of this song. It then tends to sort of go into perhaps G major or something like that, but the verse of the song is in C Lydian. So it's based again on the one and the two chords. So remember I said that's a very common little vamp that's used in Lydian. So it's kind of like, uh, it's got the C, then D, right, like that. So you got C, D, and C. Okay, so if you know that song, you should know, you should recognize that, hopefully. Okay, another example of Lydia mode in action. This tune is a song by Pearl Jam called Oceans of the album 10. It's actually moving between two Lydian keys, okay? So we don't necessarily have to stay in just the one key within a song. We can move between modes, if you like, within a single song. It's probably not as common, but it certainly does happen. So in this song, let's see, we are going to be playing in C Lydian. So here comes C Lydian again, but we also then will move to D Lydian. So if we have a look at D Lydian, because we haven't yet, then again, remember, it's a major scale with a sharp four. So D Lydian, D major, D, E, F sharp. If we sharp the four, G becomes G sharp. Then of course we have A, B, C sharp, and D. And that gives us the chords D, E, F sharp minor, G sharp diminished, A, B minor, C sharp minor, and D. So it's always the same chords when you harmonize the Lydian mode. You'll always get that order. So we get in the verse, it's like based on this D chord to a C sharp um, suspended to C sharp. Okay, so we've got this D, C sharp suspended, C sharp. Okay, that's basically what's happening in the verse of the song. And then, we'll do that a couple more times I guess, set that up. Okay, so D, C sharp, and then C Lydian comes in here, hear that sound, that Lydian sound. It sort of bounce on this chord, and then a tonal shift to Lydian, here it is. And back to your D. And I'll just repeat something. So you got like your D, this is all D Lydian. Just to break that down a little bit, we had that, that little part there, which is neither here or there, just the D to the C sharp. But then when it bring, bring in this C chord, it's doing what I did in the progression earlier. It's bringing in the sharp four, it's adding it to the chord. Here's the C, it's actually C major seven, and the F sharp being played with my first finger on the second fret of the first string. Okay, and that's that Lydian sound, sharp four, so we know it's C Lydian, right? doing his singing and whatever over the top here and that's the D and then the, there's the sharp four there in that chord the G sharp on top the sharp four of D so there's that Lydian sound again it's also a diminished fifth in this chord and then it goes up to like a D major seven back to D C that's that's 
fine, that's the C chord, and then back to the D again. Okay, but there's that Lydian sound. That's Oceans by Pearl Jam, worth checking out. Okay, and finally, I wanted to throw in just a little excerpt from an original of mine that I wrote a few years back, and uh, it's in, well, at least this part of the tune is in A Lydian. So what would A Lydian have? It'd be an A major scale with a sharp four. What does that give us? A, B, C sharp, D sharp instead of D. A major would have D, so D sharp. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and as it has all along, it gives us major chords for A and B, the one and the two, and then we get C sharp minor for three, D sharp half diminished, or minor seven flat five for the four chord. The five chord is major E, and the six and seven are minor chords, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, and then A. And in this introduction to the tune, I'm playing an A chord, then I go to the two chord B, but notice I'm keeping the A bass there. So it's that slash chord thing again, like the Yodas theme did, okay? And it's a very modal thing to do where you keep the tonic pedaling or playing in the bass while you play the other chords on top. So I've got the one chord of A Lydian, then the two chord B major, and that's the D sharp right there. Then I go to this D minor, this sort of thing, which is a D minor with an A in the bass, and then I go back to an A chord here, just a different inversion. Now you might think, hang on, D minor, where's that coming from? That's not in A Lydian, it's not even in A major. Well, the answer to that is that it's a borrowed chord from the parallel minor key, <laughs> okay, which is A minor. Um, so if you want to learn about borrowed chords, I'll link to that in the top right corner as well. And you can check out a video I've done on my channel all about borrowed chords. Very cool concept that will add a lot of sound, cool sounds to your progressions. But that one there, that's the A, one more time. Then the B with the A in the bass, D minor. And that sort of wonder and that real beautiful sound again, right? If you like this video, then you'll love this free ebook I've created for you in my Jazz Concepts for Acoustic Guitar series, simply titled Block Chords. In this ebook, you learn the three main block chord types for your guitar playing and how to create great music with them. I also show you how to best visualize these shapes on your guitar so you never forget them. It's as easy as changing one single note in each block chord shape. You also learn a system for easily relating the block chord shapes to each other all over the fretboard so you can play any chord you like in any position with ease. So click the link below in the description of this video and download your free copy of the ebook audio Jazz Concepts for Acoustic Guitar Block Chords. Let me know in the comments what acoustic guitar topics you'd like to see covered in future videos. Let me know about the Lydian mode. Do you use it? Do you have other songs you can suggest that are in the Lydian mode? Anything you want to offer with modes, the Lydian mode, I'd love to hear from you. Don't be shy, drop us a line. If you like this video, then hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and of course hit the all important notification bell button so YouTube can tell you when I've released a new video. This is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net. As always, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.